Hello, welcome to Motorhome Talk. I'm Mike and I love to talk about motorhomes. If you watch my previous video, uh, my wife and I decided that we wanted to upgrade our motorhome and then we went out and we bought ourselves a Newell, which is a significant upgrade from what we were driving. Well, I told you the whole long story about how that evolved. So now I wanted to show you the inside of our Newell Coach 1713. And to do that, uh, as you saw my uh, first video about our process, my granddaughter, one of my granddaughters, he is with us here today. She's going to help me point out some things in our new motor coach 1713. This is Bella. Say hi, Bella. All right. And come on in and we'll show you a few things. These are the captain's chairs. They're very comfortable, fantastic leather. They ride up and down nice and cushiony, just exceptionally good. My wife's is not the large one. She did not want to get the large one because it takes up the space here. This is the way in and out, and it's tight. So we were fortunate. Again, we didn't make this. This was uh, somebody else that created this. But they did the right thing by picking the smaller front seat. We, our other motorhome had a big front seat, and it was too tight. Come on in, and this is the inside. Just FYI, the people that created this are from Texas. So you're going to see some cowhide looking stuff in here. We, we think it's fine. It adds a little pop, but just wanted to let you know. My granddaughter sitting on our couch. Very, very comfortable. It also is a bed. This bed pulls out. So when I take my granddaughters with us, they'll have a place to sleep. If you saw a previous video, we took our other motor home down to Disney World. I think we had a pretty good time. What do you say? Yeah, she says yes. Okay. And this moves around. Uh, this is just for uh, put drinks on or, or eat. These are the chairs that um, we really like. Some of the coaches had couch and couch, but my wife and I like these. They're very, very comfortable. They're recliners. You can go on to the Newell site, and they, you'll see a lot of them where they show the in, how they incline and they're comfortable. Their bottom line, they're a recliner. They're very, very comfortable. We do not have a televator in here. This is all storage back in here. These are storage areas back in here. No televator here, no televator there. The TV in this, and we liked it, is up here. It's a beautiful LG smart TV, fantastic. What we do at night is we pull out the uh, recliners, put this in the middle, and we're good to go. We watch whatever we want to watch. This, if you've seen Newell before, moves around. We move this up front when we're driving. Contains, uh, uh, we can put things in it and also our coffees and whatever we're drinking at the time. We love the sconces and the lighting. Uh, put on some of the lighting if I can find the uh, sconces here and then some of the aisle lighting. And it's kind of <laughs> sunny outside, so you may not see a lot, but the lighting can be adjusted up and down using the uh, iPad here. This has the newer dashboard, which I won't light up for you, but there, this is the newer model. This is a 2021. And the, you can go on to Newell's site and, and they'll take you for a ride and show you all the dashboard things. Moving along, this is the dinette. Um, beautiful leather, really nice and soft. We're living in it, so it's not a show coach. So obviously we've got uh, our Bose sound unit, which we play when we don't have any uh, internet. And then our computer we take with us to do uh, what work that we do. There's another television back here, another LG, which connects to that, so they're on the same channel uh, when you're traveling. This is more storage down here. Let's no not pull everything out. <laughs> and uh, this also slides out, so it'll come out to about here. Uh, the, the slides are obviously out right now. This is the uh, farm sink, which my wife really liked. Uh, it has a dishwasher here. Well, that's, that's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Mike microwave pretty straightforward <laughs> stuff wolf induction oven with two cooktops and this is really pretty neat we never had anything we had we we used to have an espresso machine a uh, little espresso jura deal but it didn't uh, we just couldn't take it it was just taking up too much space in, in the other motor home what we ended up doing was using uh, instant coffee uh, we preferred starbucks and little packets and it worked out fine but then this is a drip machine and it's really pretty slick it gets put back it's plumbed you don't have to add water to it and really kind of love it. Worked out fine. This is the refrigerator. It's a big GE refrigerator. 
the uh, appliances are top of the line GE, which works for us. Uh, we've had GE in our house and we really like it. Uh, moving along, my granddaughter's here in the, mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, powder, room. powder room and my granddaughter will go inside oh, and she's going to show you one of her favorite things to do. Now this really lights your fire. Check this out. You got it, baby? Whoa, world! There goes my granddaughter. Now, if you don't think that's loads of fun, this is uh, what we have to, we have to put the kibosh on this because <laughs> otherwise, this is what we do all day long. Okay, come on out, babe. And, and this is behind a, us, a oh, bidet. Oh, we have a bidet. We had the bidet put in. Lots of uh, medicine cabinets up above. Really nicely done. Uh, my wife really liked the pocket door. A lot of them have the uh, door that swings out with the hinges. She didn't like that. Uh, takes, up, takes up a lot of space passing through. This is the narrowest part of the coach. So it does not expand. That's why she really liked the uh, pocket door. Over here is all uh, storage. So this works out really, really nicely. And we'll continue on. And okay, now we're moving to the back of the uh, motor coach. This is the bedroom. I forgot to mention it up front. And anybody that knows Newell, these windows are just mind-boggling how big they are. Um, now these are my son-in-law's tunnels. He's got an organic farm going here. Um, so that's what we're looking out here. But these movie, these windows are just, wow, fantastic. And the bed is a, is a junior king, which uh, my wife and I really like. Our last motorhome had a queen, and there, there's a significant amount of space on this, particularly when our little dogs, who haven't joined us today, are with us. But, uh, and most of the time, they're here with, the, with all of us. Got a lot of closet space all over the place in here. Little tiny closets back here. And uh, on that side, this is a pr one of those projection TVs up in here. And uh, my wife and I, we, again, we've just gotten the motor home, but we're not a big watch TV in bed kind of uh, people. So the TV will probably be used when the grandchildren come and want to watch all their grandchildren movies when we're traveling. Now moving towards the back, this is the uh, master bathroom in the back of the coach. One thing about this motor coach, and my wife liked it, is there's only one bathroom. A lot of motor coaches... No, uh, one toilet. I'm sorry, one toilet. That's correct. Thank you. One toilet. Uh, most of the 45-footers are designed with two toilets. But with just the two of us traveling most of the time when the grandchildren are here, the one toilet worked out fine. It did in our other motor home, and it wasn't an issue. With this layout, it gives our shower a large uh, we're able to get it larger so come on back here this is the washer and dryer that's here and this slides back nice washer and a dryer i will tell you they're small uh, and they take a long time to do uh, a wash and a dry i think it's two hours to dry and two hours to wash and you and know, you need to be plugged in and you oh yeah, you have to be on power or generator to uh, to run it, mm -hmm. and it it can handle about a pair of jeans and a couple of shirts. So you're not be doing a family wash. It was an eye opener wash. We thought it'd be a little faster, but it is what it is. <laughs> and when we're traveling, when we're parked, we can we can do this. Again, storage here. Um, that nice, really nice uh, master bath with one sink. Uh, these come out so that my wife can do her hair, and the other one over here comes out. So she can get all the hair done back in there. <laughs> and then in here is a cedar cedar closet, beautiful cedar closet, which is really nice. Has a little sunroof here, which you can close if you want to, but we're enjoying the sun. And this is the bigger bathroom back here. Gives you a really good sized bathroom. Not, Newell does a really nice job shower. with it. I'm sorry, shower. <laughs> really nice job. <laughs> and that's the inside of the coach. And I'll take you outside to show you the outside. Now I have the slides out and I'll keep them out. The storage bays are pretty straightforward and I can show them to you. But uh, I wanted to show you with the, with the slides out because these slides are huge. I mean, they're massive compared to a lot of other uh, coaches. So we'll go outside in a minute. Okay. Now we're outside and this is the front of the uh, coach. And you can see it's a big coach. And moving around, the colors we thought were very attractive. This is the slide on this side, and you'll see in a second the size of the slide. It is massive. Look at the size of that slide. It's, whoa, that's huge. Backslide 
significant for sure. And boy, together on the inside, they work out really, really well. As far as the uh, basement goes, the first two are uh, storage. And they're on a power slide that uh, brings them all the way out. The first two are through and through storage. So that works out really well. This came with the Dometic refrigerator dash um, freezer. You can make them both refrigerator, cooler, whatever you like like to do there. But that's a nice addition to the uh, full-size refrigerator. This one here, this is the electronics bay where a lot of the service goes on. Uh, that comes out, it's manual, but you pull it out and it's nothing I'm going to get into because it's out of my pay grade. Moving down here is a big outside television set. We're not big outside television people, but again, we didn't design the uh, motorhome. And this is the uh, passenger side fill for fuel. There's also one on the driver's side and the DEF is next to that and I'll show you that in a minute. And then there's the battery pack uh, there for the uh, house. Moving on towards the back. Again, that slide is just massive, blows my mind. Coming around here is the uh, engine in here is the Cummings. So this rig is from the back. It's a uh, power cord that uh, retracts. Uh, there are other motorhome was in the middle. I think this is gonna work out a little better because most of the uh, pedestals at the uh, campgrounds seem to be towards the rear. Again, another huge slide uh, for the uh, living space and then the one for the bedroom, uh, a little smaller, but wow, still quite large. This is the uh, front bay. I'll open it for you here. And you'll see in there that there's two air compressors. That's a redundancy that the Newell has. If one goes out, you can switch over to the other. Also, there's the uh, button for the uh, uh, opening up the generator door. This is a uh, Martin 20 kilowatt generator. And there it is there. It's a huge unit. I think the other uh, motor home we had at a nine kilowatt. And there's a start out here and there's a start inside also. You can see here that it's on um, rubber uh, uh, mats, I guess, that keep it quiet when it's shaken. There's uh, four of them that isolate it. And then it's enclosed in this uh, container here, which, which closes down to uh, keep it exceptionally uh, quiet. And that's the uh, generator on the front of the Newell. And this is the uh, service bay uh, for fuel. And uh, next to it is the DEF. The nice thing about the Newell, which is really thought out, is they have a camera there. So when you pull up to get fuel, you'll be able to look at the camera and find out exactly where the pump is. No more guessing like I had to do in the uh, other motorhome. And of course, in the other motorhome, the fuel was uh, towards the front and the DEF was in the back. So I had to move forward, didn't have a camera there and had to guess, guesstimate where it was. And that took a little time. This is the uh, water uh, bay where our water comes in and then our septic goes out. It's old school gravity, which uh, it works for me, not a lot of uh, motors, which works. This is another uh, motor of some sort. Well, not, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, there's two filters there that filter the water going uh, into the uh, coach. This is the backside of the, uh, you can see through. This is the backside of the uh, storage bay. Again, it's a through and through. The one next to it I didn't open, but it's the same deal. And the front, this is this front compartment is fuses and uh, all the above there. We uh, haven't towed yet, so that will be another uh, film when I decide uh, where I'm going to get my tow, although I already have that in mind, but we'll come up with that and explain all that to you. When that gets closer, we are going to be pulling the Jeep. That's our Jeep Wrangler Sahara four-door. And the tow unit on, on the uh, Newell is nice because it already has the air that goes all the way through the coach. So my tow system will be using a direct connect to the air. Well, that is the end of our coach. I'll back up a little bit because we think it's quite, quite nice. My only concern again is that it is large. So I'm gonna be taking some uh, driving courses here and making sure I'm comfortable driving this thing. Going from the 34 to the 45, like I said, I talked to a lot of 
uh, people at the rallies and at Newell and even when I was at Newmar when I was thinking of getting a bigger one because we are full time now that uh, they seem to say it was not an issue. So, well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, look of our new coach. I hope you agree with us that it looks nice and uh, we'll continue on talking about motorhomes. Thank you for watching. Bye.